Hello and welcome to today's walk. Today is Super Bowl Sunday, so the Eagles take on the Chiefs. But where are we? We're at Disneyland. And I just want to see how crowded it is today. That way everybody asks, is it, is it crowded at Disneyland on Super Bowl Sunday? Well, let's find out today. And I see a, 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 a Super Bowl fan over there. Let's go check him out. All right, so as we get today's walk started, we have Chip over here. We're gonna get in line here and uh, talk to him about the Super Bowl, see what he thinks. And uh, then we'll get our day started. So Chip, how are you doing? Happy Super Bowl Sunday. You ready for the game? Yeah? <laughs> All right, who's gonna win? Your team? Your team? <laughs> All right. All right, well enjoy your Super Bowl Sunday. Bye, high five right here. All right, take care. All right, that was awesome. Meeting Chip on Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, let's see, let's, it, look, it looks like a normal day. I, I didn't make rope drop. It's uh, a little bit past nine, but we'll uh, take a look at uh, the wait times for rides, see how busy they are but it looks like a normal day to me so far. But let's walk over to uh, see how long the ride waits are. All right, so here they have the digital. Wow, Haunted Mansion's already 40 minutes. Uh, Alice in Wonderland, 35, 10. It's not too bad, but it's like I said, it's only 9, 9 a.m. Manillium Falcon, 35. Oh, Rise it was temporarily closed. So it's still early. We'll see how crowded it gets. But let's head on over to try something we were trying to get last time we were out here. That chimichanga. Breakfast chimichanga. Let's try and get that. All right. Like I said, right here in front of Big Thunder Mountain is, I'm not sure the name of it. But it's right here, and this is where they have the chimichangas, and it's sold out. So, we are on a mission from now on to come and get the chimichanga breakfast. The, the breakfast chimichanga, that's how upset I am today. <laughs> so, all right, let's try one more spot. Let's see if we can get the breakfast burrito. No, I'm not even up for that breakfast burrito. I'm, I'm disappointed on the chimichanga. Let's just go through the park and let's see how, how crowded or not crowded it is today. So we're gonna skip on the breakfast burrito. All right, so this is the line already for pirates. It's not too bad. And it looks like they only have one side open. So yeah, they only have one side open. Um, but what I want to show you is there used to be a wall up here and that wall is now gone. So this walkway is opened again. And as you can see, the Swiss Family Robinson Tarzan Treehouse is still being worked on. They got the scaffolding here. Can't really tell what's going on in there, but construction is happening still oh they got a welcome to adventureland treehouse inspired by walt disney's swiss family robinson wow so are they going back to that let's see here they do have some concept art over here huh. yeah it looks like it's gonna be back to the Swiss Family Robinson. And it's artist concept only. Hmm. Coming soon, so they've been working on it for a while, so let's uh 
let's make sure we come out here when it opens and uh, take, take a walk up there. All right, so look at all of Adventureland is open. This um, is the Indiana Jones ride and it's still closed, but they've opened up this whole area and you have Jungle Cruise here. How long is the wait, Jungle Cruise? Maybe we'll, we'll take a quick trip. And then here's one of the uh, better um, quick uh, stops for a, for a snack, and that's the Bango Barbecue. But let's see how long the wait is. It's not too long. You may just go on the Jungle Cruise. Haven't been on that in a while. Uh, 20 minutes. Ah, I, there's too much to see. So maybe next time. All right, here we are at the Tropical Hideaway, which has different types of Dole Whips uh, and tropical snacks here. So let's take a look and see what they have. Yeah, the pineapple or our seasonal flavors Dole Whip, Dole Whip float, loaded Dole Whip, a bow, and lumpias. All right, so they do have a strawberry Dole Whip sundae that is looking, I hate to say it, but amazing. Um, but it, it's a little too early for that. Let's take a walk. Let's continue walking. There's too much to see and see how crowded this park is. But we're definitely going to come back for this. All right. You have the original Tiki Juice Bar that has the original Dole Whip and the Hawaiian pineapple juice. So this is right in front of the Enchanted Tiki Room. And then the Tropical Hideaway was on the other side around the corner behind the Tiki Room. All right, here I am in front of the castle. And as you can notice, it's not that crowded. So I think it is gonna be a day that is not gonna be that crowded. I've come before and man, it was packed and crowded on a Super Bowl Sunday. I'll check out this guy. So it's, I don't know. I don't know if it's a hit or miss, but definitely doesn't seem as crowded. All right, we are right in front of Star Tours entrance and the wait says 20 minutes. Huh, that is not bad at all. What about Buzz? Buzz, stand by 15. You know what, I think we're gonna try. Yeah, let's get on Buzz. 15 minutes. All right, I got a little too happy. It is closed right now. So the wait, it shows zero now. And uh, it must be down for a little bit. Maybe we'll check, it, check by later, but still 20 minutes for Star Tours. So that's pretty good. All right, let's check out the rest of the park. All right, here I am in front of Galactic Grill. And as you can notice, mobile orders on all windows. They do have the menu on that side, but you gotta mobile order your, your orders now. All right, so here they have the American breakfast burrito, the loaded breakfast sandwich, the impossible bowl, French toast sticks, and the fre fresh seasonal fruit. That's the uh, loaded breakfast sandwich. I think the breakfast burrito is a, is the better better deal, and it's and it's really really good. But like I said, I, I had chimichanga on the brain. So, anyways all mobile order you can't walk up and, and order so just just a heads up the galactic grill all right quick update number six window is where you can order without mobile order so they just have that one window window six all right so as i leave galactic grill like i said in the quick update there is one window that's open but if you look overhead it just says mobile order only so I had to ask somebody because I just said, let me ask to make sure. And sure enough, one window, 
I don't know if it's all every day or what they don't have it advertised. So it's kind of tough if you're <laughs> anyways, there is one window that was walk up at the Galactic Grill. All right, here we are in front of Small World and it is literally a walk on. It says five minutes, but eh, five minutes. So looking pretty good today on Super Bowl Sunday week, uh, Super Bowl Sunday actually. So let's go over to the other side, check, a, check out uh, one of the busiest spots lately. All right, so here's a line just to get in. You gotta show them your time and all that, but it's pretty long. But Toontown just announced they were gonna open on March 8th and they just announced a new opening day for um, all of Toontown and that will be on March, oh, I think it's the 19th, yes, March 19th. And that's the new opening day for Toontown. All right, so here I enter Fantasyland. Uh, it's crowded, but I've seen it worse, so it's not too bad. I'm gonna go with, it's not as crowded. You still see a lot of space in front and you know, throughout the park. So let's head on over to Batu. Check that out. All right, as we enter Batu, let's see if we can run into either Kylo Ren or. Or the uh, stormtroopers, because we are over here on the side of the first order, and as you can see, the engine running on Kylo's ship here. All right, let's see if uh, we can run into some uh, first order. All right, so we walked all of the Batu area and no Imperial but now we we're here and we do run into some rebels so we have I'm not sure if that's Ray that's definitely Chewbacca yeah I think that's Ray and they're right here in front of this uh, X-wing so there's Chewbacca looking for some uh, equipment here. And here comes Ray and Chewbacca. Come on, you. And we did what we can. Yeah. We tried. Therefore, there should be no criticisms from anyone. All right, there they go. Wow, look at Chewbacca. That's awesome. All right, as we leave Batu, like I said, we did not run into any of the First Order, but we did run into the heroes, Chewbacca and Rey. So that was awesome. Let's start out, it's almost, well, it's almost 10.30 and uh, we want to make the move over to DCA, see how things are over there. So let's start headed, heading towards the uh, front of the park. All right, as, how we, as we have a beautiful shot right here of Splash Mountain, there still is no date as to when this will be closing. So we'll keep an, uh, an eye on that and we'll see if it even does happen. So there they go. But this is a nice shot. There's a little secret walkway here. And you can see them as they come down. Let's see, let's watch them. As they come down here. 
There they go. We continue through the walkway. And we could see them as they come around here. So that was that family. Now they're all soaked and wet, having a good old time. So, like I said, still no, no date on the closure for Splash Mountain. All right, the holiday overlay is now gone. As you can see, Jack and the rest of the, the crew, Oogie Boogie and everybody else are now gone. And the original Haunted Mansion is back and it's now open. So 999 ghosts are here waiting for everybody to come in. And the Haunted Mansion wait right now as of about 10.30 is only 35 minutes. Not too bad, not too bad at all. All right, so I am back at the Tropical Hideaway for the Strawberry Dole Whip Sunday, And uh, definitely didn't want to miss that one today since I missed my chimichanga. But uh, it is a little more crowded than when I came the first time. And there it is, thank you. Enjoy. All right, look at that. Look at that. All right, let's go. Uh, pay for it or no you know what let me get a I'm gonna get a bow too all right let's see what we get here All right, so here we have the strawberry shortcake uh, dough whip. And it has crumbled cake, like a strawberry uh, glazed drizzle. Mm. Wow. This is a must have today's walk high five. And this is only a limited time, so definitely want to get, come out and get this uh, strawberry shortcake dough whip. This is good. All right, so I just had the pork lumpia. Definitely a five. Definitely a five out of five. Um, the, the sweet uh, chili sauce, perfect. They're warm, they're crispy. The pork inside is nice and flavorful. Definitely, definitely a, a five out of five. Not a today's walk high five, but definitely a five. All right, um, so now I'm just gonna finish my uh, Dole Whip and uh, we're gonna head on over to DCA. It's uh, almost 11, so let's head on over there. All right, as we walk out of Disneyland, look at the lines here to get into Disneyland. Not bad. But I'm headed that way and look at the lines. What is going on at DCA? What? Is everybody over here? Is that why Disneyland is not that busy? Yikes, all right, let's uh, let's head on in, just pick a line and see how long it takes us, but let's head on in to DCA. All right, as you can see, the trolley has taken off and we are in DCA. Um, we still have some uh, tabs left over for the Lunar New Year which ends on the 15th so there's only a few more days left so let's uh let's go find a booth and see what we can uh, grab 
but it was definitely a long line to get in to DCA. All right, let's head in and see what we can get. We'll see what they have here and, and then we'll see if we can order from the one location, whatever we want. So, I'm not sure what they have here. Oh, the Mickey Mouse hot dog bun. Ah, I did not like that when I tried it. And I tried the macaron. So let's skip this one and see where else we can go. All right, so we're gonna try the Longevity Noodle Company. And what we're gonna have here is the garlic noodles and the spicy pork Dan Dan noodles. All right, so let's get in line and uh, order and let you know what, they, what we think. All right, so here we have the garlic noodles, which, man, they smell amazing. And then you have the dang dang noodles, which are like a spicy noodle. And we're gonna give them a try right now. And I got myself some chopsticks. I'm not good at this. My sons are good at this, but I'm not. I'm gonna try it anyway. All right, so I started with the, um, the garlic um, noodle. And everybody I heard that, that was trying this, was complaining how cold it was not mine it's nice and warm it's got the parmesan cheese on it and i don't know i just got maybe lucky that i got a brand new batch and look at how horrible i am with these chopsticks mm. but they're not cold noodles at all so i'm very happy about that if you love garlic this is it this is the one very very good i definitely give this uh i give it a four out of five it's that good oh look at how good i, I did that anyways a four out of five on the garlic noodles all right so now the dan dan noodles and you know what these didn't disappoint either i'm horrible at these but the dan dan noodles are very spicy i don't i don't want to say very spicy but they are spicy and um ooh, check that out um they weren't cold either so and it has a very good flavor to it mm. it's got the little chives and the little chili pepper also give a four out of five on this one so i'm happy they weren't cold because like i said everybody was saying that so, I like these. But if you love garlic, get the garlic ones. All right. All right, so now I have here the barbecue pork. I think it's chin si, sui. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's uh, on a bao with cilantro, uh, some pickled red onion, and uh, a little bit of jalapeno. So let's give it a try. Well, let me let me see what the meat tastes like. Mmm. It is a cold, cold uh, sandwich, or like no, I don't know if it's a sandwich or not, but it is on the cold side. Man, but the pork has good flavor. Mm. I was I'm surprised. I really wanted to get the um, pepperoni pizza bow. 
they were all sold out. So I ended up getting the other choice, which you know what? I'm kind of glad I did try this. This is really, really good. I, I give this, uh, yeah, and I give this, uh, I give this a five, five out of five. Not a today's walk high five, but definitely five out of five. Yeah, this is the pork um, pick with pickled onions, cilantro, and um, um, jalapeno and a bao bun. So, pretty good. All right, with only one tab left, I had to get it. I had to get the Quesovidia egg roll. So we already know this is a today's walk high five. All right, so I'm gonna start heading out and we're gonna take a look at see what, what the park looks like uh, on the way out. And then we'll kind of decide what we think. enough to catch that parade and it is pretty crowded now because of the people leaving the parade but uh, we're gonna head on out and I'll let you know what I think about today all right that ends our day here at Disneyland on Super Bowl Sunday it is 12 30 it looks like the entrance to DCA has shortened up a lot of people are leaving um, and Disneyland's line also shortened up I think as the day goes on and we get closer to game time, I think it's going to be empty. So I, 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 had a, I had a great day. I think it wasn't crowded and the, the times at DCA were very short for the big ride. So like um, not anything abnormal. So um, I, think, I think it's definitely worth it to come on Super Bowl Sunday during the morning. So anyways, I hope this video helps out. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time on today's walk. Bye.